Hello, Arizona. I'm Senator Flavio Bravo, representing Legislative District 26. This week, we were supposed to vote on House Concurrent Resolution 2060 on the Senate floor, but it was held because Republicans could not decide if they actually want the bill to target DREAMers, who were brought here as children and are integral in our communities statewide. But let's be clear. Even if the language attacking DREAMers is removed from this bill, HCR 2060 would still create irreparable harm for our state. HCR 2060 is an unfunded mandate that will provide all law enforcement officers in Arizona with near unlimited immunity to arrest someone based only on the suspicion that they entered the country illegally. The bill does not protect any spaces of sanctuary which could lead to immigration raids in schools, churches, and nonprofit spaces. Places where the most vulnerable people in our community receive essential services. The bill also treats all non-citizens as if they were here illegally, meaning that even people with some form of valid legal status, for example, DACA recipients or people with humanitarian parole could be targeted for deportation. However, HCR 2060 would not only harm immigrants, it would hurt all Arizonans. HCR 2060 would cost our state hundreds of millions of dollars annually, on top of threatening the viability of Arizona's small businesses who may be harmed by a reduced labor workforce and by decreases in tourism due to potential boycotts as a result of this bill. This bill would also severely hurt our ability to claw back the state's deficit. Unfortunately, Republicans are attempting to bring us back to the days of Senate Bill 1070 by putting underrepresented communities across the state at a greater risk of harassment, arrest, and deportation. By attempting to pass HCR 2060, a bill with provisions that were already vetoed by Governor Hobbs, Republicans are trying to make the voters do their dirty work for them. And no matter what, my Democratic colleagues and I will continue to protect all Arizonans and fight against those trying to pull us back to some of the darkest days in our state's history.